We are starting our Thursday, December 15th morning with Duke in his jacket about to go outside for party. We're 7 o'clock in the morning. And there's the bus, Duke. That's what I was waiting for, the second bus to pass, because we don't want a flat Duke for sure. I have a story about Lucky for you guys, but that is going to have to wait until this little guy goes to the bathroom. Well, I honestly have to say that it is official on this Thursday morning. Lucky has taken off. But hear me out. It's not as bad as you think. Last night around 10.30, I say, between 10.30 and 11 p.m. at night, Lucky had made a mess in his cage. So obviously we had to clean it and put the trash outside. I'm clean it. Lucky's just there sitting in the kitchen. I think, okay, he's going to go back in his cage to go back to sleep. Lucky in his pen is like Duke in his hidey hole. It's comfortable for him. For sleeping purposes, you know, it keeps him safe. It keeps him away from others. It's kind of like his own individual place, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Well... He's just hanging out in the kitchen like he's always done before going back into his pen. I have the trash. I open the door to go put the trash outside. The cat bolts for the door before I can get a chance to grab him and he's gone. So last night it got down to I want to say 46 degrees last night. Not that cold. Not too cold for Lucky. Here my mom and I are looking at each other like well that's it. He took off. He wanted to take off. He wanted to go roaming. And he's probably not going to be there in the morning. Open the door to start our day. Trying to bring Duke outside. Which you saw in the previous clip. He had his cute little jacket on. Thank you again, Aunt Claire. The cat waltzes right on in the door to come eat. Is not that Lucky's trying to roam. Is Lucky don't want to be in the house. We finally figured it out with the cat. Lucky does not want to be in the house. He wants to be outside where he can do whatever he wants. And probably try to romance Kai Kai. I think that's got a lot to do with it. He doesn't like being in the house. And before we started putting him in the house, before we borrowed the, the neighbor's cage to have him a little individual spot for him to sleep in, in the house... That was before it had turned cold, right before Thanksgiving. He was fine. He would be outside, no problem. He was fine. Not a thing. You wouldn't... You'd see him in the morning. You knew he'd go in the attic at night. He was always warm. We knew he was taking care of himself. We were never worried because of that fact. Now, he's been used to being in the house, supposedly. And he's had enough. He wants to be outside. He wants to be able to do his own thing. Come and go as he pleases. Just like all the other cats. The only problem is he's still wanting to beat up the other cats. This morning, Tux came to say hi to pay us a visit. My neighbor who usually feeds him is sick, so she didn't get a chance to feed him. I put a little bit of food down for Tux. Lucky doesn't like that at all. So, of course, Lucky's trying to go after poor Tux. And here I am trying to keep Tux in his own yard. I put Tux back in his own yard, put the food there for Tux that I can reach to give to Tux, and Lucky wants to kick Tux's rear end. Lucky is jealous. Lucky doesn't want the other males. He wants to be outside. He is not an inside cat. There is no way that that cat will ever make a good transition to being an inside cat. On the plus side, though, Lucky did get his gifts early. It was just a bunch of, like, cat treats and things like that. So he got them early. I do have Lucky's ornament... And Duke's ornament for this year, which is going to go on the tree. This is Lucky's little ornament right here. This is Duke's ornament this year. Those who do know me know I love penguins, but we're going to use that for Duke. It's Duke's colors. And I have these off aside from last year, which I just found them a couple of days ago, by the way. And this is, well, was supposed to be Lucky's stocking. But ended up not being Lucky Stocking because he's outside now. He wants to be an outside cat, so let's let him be an outside cat. 
Still gonna put it on the tree because Lucky's still a part of our family. I did that to put it on the tree so that I can put it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucky's little ornament. I'm gonna do the same with Duke's ornament. And there's Duke's ornament and Lucky's ornament for 2022 on the tree. Let me see where I can put the snowmen. And there you go. Our ornaments for this year. What do you think? I like them. Well, here's your lucky update for this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Lucky wanted to be outside. Me and my mother both knew that he'd get his little behind beaten up. Ladies and gentlemen, it has happened. He comes back about five minutes ago, limping. But then again, he was limping when he first got here, so that's nothing to surprise me there. But I'm pretty sure him and Steve got into it, and Steve got the better of him. You can see his back end right there. This side. That's the side that's ginger to him. I'm going to definitely keep my eye on it. I'm pretty sure he'll fight me to go back in the house. There's a little monster right there that probably did the damage. Steve, I'd advise you leave. Thank you. We're feeding Lucky. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep him in the house, knowing him. If he's on three paws, he probably can't fend for himself. We'll see.